Top 10 Health Benefits of Dark Chocolate vs. Milk Chocolate There are now even more reasons for chocolate lovers to rejoice. As more amazing research news comes in about chocolate, the substance is moving from a bad-for-you candy to an important health food. Those of us who had always continued to indulge in occasional chocolate treats can stop feeling guilty and now easily justify our cravings. You may have already heard that chocolate contains beneficial flavonoids and antioxidants. Flavonoids are naturally occurring compounds found in plant foods that are full of recognized health benefits. There are more than 4,000 flavonoid compounds, which are a subgroup of a large class called polyphenols. Phenols are believed to help reduce the risk of heart disease by helping prevent atherosclerosis. The flavanols in chocolate appear to help the body use nitric oxide, which is crucial for healthy blood flow and blood pressure, which means that chocolate might help reduce hypertension as well. Red wine is known for its high phenol content, but an average bar of dark chocolate contains more phenols than 8 ounces of red wine. Scientists at Cornell University and Seoul National University examined the cancer-fighting antioxidant content of hot cocoa, red wine, and tea, and found that cocoa had nearly double the antioxidants of red wine and four to five times more than tea. Holland's National Institute of Public Health and Environment found that dark chocolate contains 53.5 mg of catechins per 100 grams. Catechins are the powerful antioxidants that fight against cancer and help prevent heart disease. By contrast, a cup of black tea contains only about 14 mg of catechins and green tea has about 30 mg of catechins. A study at University of California Davis found that participants who ate chocolate showed a reduction in platelet activity. This means that chocolate has an anti-clotting, blood-thinning effect that can be compared to aspirin. A Harvard University study of 8,000, with an average age of 65, revealed that those who consumed chocolate lived almost a year longer than those who did not. Those who ate one to three candy bars per month had a 36% lower risk of death compared to the people who ate no candy, while those who ate three or more candy bars per week had a 16% lower risk. A study of older men in the Netherlands, known for its chocolate, showed that those who ate the most chocolate, an equivalent of one-third of a chocolate bar every day, had lower blood pressure and a 50% lower risk of death. The researchers also noted the men eating the most cocoa products were not heavier or bigger eaters than the men who ate less cocoa. And it's not just dark chocolate that is the only healthy type of chocolate. Most studies talk about the benefits of dark chocolate, but some of the most recent news about chocolate includes good news for milk chocolate lovers, who have been left out in the past. The Wheeling Jesuit University in West Virginia did a study that shows that milk chocolate seems to boost brain power. The groups in the test consumed, on different occasions, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, carob and nothing. Then they were tested for cognitive performance including memory, attention span, reaction time, and problem solving. According to Dr. Brian Raudenbisch, composite scores for verbal and visual memory were significantly higher for milk chocolate than the other conditions. The study also found that consumption of milk and dark chocolate was associated with improved impulse control and reaction time. It seems that by consuming chocolate you get stimulating effects from substances found in chocolate, such as theobromine and phenylethylamine, which then lead to increased mental performance. Chocolate really does make you feel good, too. It is known to stimulate the secretion of endorphins, producing a pleasurable sensation similar to the runner's high a jogger feels after running several miles. Chocolate also contains a neurotransmitter, serotonin that acts as an antidepressant, Studies in England show that even the aroma of chocolate gives a bout of euphoria and will help lift the spirits. And now people are looking at chocolate for skin care. According to Marlies Spinali, director of True Spa, like many other antioxidants, cocoa polyphenols are thought to offer the skin protection from free radical damage caused by sun, pollution, stress, alcohol consumption and other factors. I believe that we will hear more about the benefits of chocolate in skin care. Some people have been avoiding chocolate because one of the main ingredients of chocolate is cocoa butter. It was thought that it was an unhealthy fat, but actually cocoa butter is not unhealthy. It is made up of the beneficial fatty acids oleic acid, a heart-healthy monounsaturated fat also found in olive oil, stearic and palmitic acids. 
stearic and palmitic acids are healthy forms of saturated fat. Plus chocolate contains vitamins A, B1, C, D, and E, as well as potassium, sodium, and iron. So go ahead and indulge in a little chocolate, in moderation of course. I would recommend that you try to find organic chocolate, and stick with darker chocolate because it has more chocolate flavonoids and less sugar. Sugar weakens the immune system, so don't consume sugar if you are ill. And a little bit of milk chocolate is alright when you need an occasional milk chocolate brainpower boost, such as before a test. All you students take note. Chocolate as a health food can life get any better?